So with monochromes, we talked about styling neutrals. We talked about styling all black and we talked about denim looks. Today, we talk about styling color. If you're interested, please stay tuned. So welcome back to the channel. I want to start with some life updates. I'll make sure I add timestamps if you're not interested in my well-being. I'm just joking. <laughs> but for the last few weeks, I have been fighting for my life on all fronts. I was under the weather. Your girl got the vid and I probably got him from going out eating tacos. See, my life is very unserious. And I'm really happy that my symptoms were very mild and it really gave me time to get some much needed rest. After I bounced back from that, I had some other things going on. So your girl had a couple breakdowns, but they were much needed. They were a year in the making and it just felt cathartic. It felt really And after I got over that, I was met with a copyright claim. <laughs> At this moment, I feel like, what's that saying? Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar? Give me my things, cause I'm tired, I'm tired. So I wanna be open about some of the things to share that it's important to put your health first and especially mental health. Creating spaces where we normalize getting our emotions out with people that we trust. So if you are going through with this and your reminders to make sure you're addressing these emotions and getting them out, cause bottling it up will catch up to you. So another thing, I realized I gave you guys a whole get to know me video and I completely forgot to tell you guys how to pronounce my name. So my name is Yudi. You say the first two letters like you would say AJ or CJ just because I get Udi a lot and it's a common mistake. So real quick story time, back in high school when I was working a job, I had that name tag. Someone came to me and they asked me, is that short for Judy? But it was very much so somehow, if you read between the lines, low-key of my girl aggression so i had the right idea later on when i worked at ross i said i'm just gonna put u dot d so people know like it's an acronym like aj seizure i had someone come in and call me ud i said absolutely not absolutely not so i went back to the full three letters and in other news it is my birthday month i am an april baby shout out to all the april birthdays this year i'm not doing so much because the way the coins are set up the coins are very regular this year and also i don't have time to go anywhere so we're gonna keep it local i might just catch dinner or something with a friend but it's gonna be real chill so as i shoot this video we're currently at 988 subscribers and i'm like girl what how did that happen my goal for this year was 500 we've practically doubled that so for my birthday i would love for us to get to a thou wow because why not we're almost there um but really 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 do appreciate everyone's support thank you to everyone who's been subscribing telling a friend or tell a friend engaging leaving me comments it truly motivates me and keeps me going so i'm really happy for the space that we're building here but now let's get to this video so getting into color there are so many things you can touch on but i really wanted this to be just one video so i decided to divide this into three categories of color that i usually go for that's pastels jewel tones and bold hues so for pastels remember my neutral video when we talked about tints pastels are just that here i'm thinking light pinks baby blues sage greens lavenders and lilac and i feel like pastels have a soft and delicate feel i associate them with a calmness and a gentleness and they're often grouped into springtime colors and easter sunday but i feel like they're not just that they're colors you can wear year round so for instance there are a few looks that live in my head rent Free. I remember coming across this sage green aviator jacket on Misguided years ago. I ended up going with the beige color, but I love what this was doing. The green was very soft, but this is a jacket you wear in the fall and winter. Another picture I came across was this pink outfit from head to toe. It has a more playful and streetwear look that also aims towards comfort, but keeping you warm. And I just thought it was done so well for this style aesthetic. And here I have more pictures of what we typically think about when we think about pastels and the warmer months. Next on our list are jewel tones. When it comes to these, I'm thinking about my ruby reds, my maroon, rusted and sienna burnt oranges, golden yellows, emerald greens, silky navies and teals, and rich violet. I think these colors especially look the best when they're in fabrics that have a sheen to it, so your satins and silks, followed by velvets as a close second. In my neutrals video, someone commented that they love the color emerald green, and the thing about it, 
we're here. I love emerald green in this context. People just off the top of my head who do jewel tones amazing. I have to talk about Asiami Gold. I have seen her in beautiful jewel tones. Everything from emerald green to bright yellow, ruby reds, you name it. Another person I have to mention is Andrea Iyama. I love her personal style as well as what she puts out in her fashion lines. She does an amazing job with jewel tone pieces as well as resort wear overall. I'm still in love with her top laundry dress from many, many seasons ago. I also want to spotlight this look that I've had saved for years. The color of the coat and the sheen overall gives you that jewel tone effect. And those softer greens throughout kind of lend to that pastel effect we talked about earlier. I also love how she accessorized with a saddle bag. I have been eyeing that bag for a minute, especially in that color. And for your reference, here are a few more jewel tone looks that I'm absolutely in love with. Now for this next category, when I talk about bold, vibrant hues, what I'm talking about are the true hues of the color. How they appear without tints and shades and all of those things. These colors are intense, they command attention, and they make a statement. Starting with this yellow look, I love how she's doing it head to toe. And with this being knitwear, I feel like it's a great transitional piece into spring. This next look is an all red look from Kalana Barfield. And you cannot tell me this look does not command attention. It's bold, it's out there, it's in your face. And, and next I have two similar orange looks. I love how they get that monochromatic look with a top and bottom of the same orange and an accessory of a slightly different shade. So this is another look that I think is perfect when it gets cold again. In my extraness, I will call this a marigold or canary yellow. But again, we have a two-piece suit and we just added that fur on top. We added texture, we added warm. Another great example of how you can do color throughout the year. And just to add to, we have this pink trench coat with the fur bucket hat, adding different textures and also adding warm. And here are a few more looks. And amongst other colors that I did not forget, you also have earth tones and neons. I won't get into them too much today, but in short, earth tones are more muted tones. For me, they lean more towards neutrals and the neons are your super bright out there colors. You know them. So as I'm shooting this video on when it goes live, we are currently in spring. But as I said before, I want this video to serve as a reference for you. So something to keep in mind, we are entering end of season and off season sales. So especially for more colorful outerwear, be on the lookout for sale. Because this is a time that many stores may want to get rid of that inventory, especially the brighter, more out there colors. So you may be able to catch a really good deal. But back to the present, for those of you wanting to inject more color into your spring and summer wardrobes this year, a great place to start is to start with the trending color. You may not know what that color is, but you'll be seeing it everywhere and it'll be very accessible. And I say this because of moments like Valentino Pink and Bottega Green, there was no escaping those colors when they were at their peaks. I'm gonna have to think a little bit longer about what will be trending this summer. If anything, I've just been seeing tons of denim, but if you guys have any ideas on what you think will be trending, please leave them down below and I'll be giving this a little bit more thought. The next step you can take is tailoring the colors to yourself. And you can do this by asking yourself what makes you feel best, what makes you feel most alive, what makes you feel the most confident. Also thinking about the times you get the most compliments on your look when you're wearing color. And once you get to that point of wanting to buy new pieces, first look in your closet and see what you already have. What colors do you want more of? What colors are missing? If you're still stuck, something you can keep in mind is the acronym Warren G. Big. For whatever reason, that acronym has stuck with me since grade school, but it basically gives you all the colors in the light spectrum, which are also on the color wheel. We will get more into the details of this in our next video in this series, but to break down Warren G. Big is basically red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, violet, I think I got those. So if you've done everything else and you don't wear to start, just go through all the colors. Do you need more red? Would orange look nice on you? Is yellow your color? Think through it like that and hopefully that helps. So now for my approach to color, bottom me, 
I tend to stay on the Roy G side of the color spectrum. I love a good orange, I love a chartreuse, I love a magenta moment. And one of the weird things for me is I used to not like red. For whatever reason, red felt intimidating. It felt like a little bit too much. And it just was something I didn't have much of in my wardrobe many, many years ago. But I remember one day I was in a store just holding something up that happened to be red and someone made sure they told me that would look absolutely amazing against your skin tone. And I just started thinking about it more and more. I'm like, she's right. And ever since that person said that, I just started looking at red differently and it later grew on me so much. And a quick side note, I love a blue red more than I love like a strawberry red. And to make that distinction clear, think about when you're wearing a red lipstick. I like to go for a blue red because it had an effect making your teeth look more white. If you go for a strawberry red, your teeth are going to look yellow. <laughs> <laughs> because of the underlying hues. Think about when the Ruby Woo lipstick was all the craze. That is a blue base red. For some of the other colors that I don't lean into, blue is one of them. I have softer blues and a lot of denim, but that royal blue color is something that I don't really go for as often. And also I don't have many pieces in my closet that can complement that shade of blue and that's perfectly okay. Not everything is by force. You don't have to have every color. And something you'll hear me say a lot and many others on this platform we're talking about pieces is that I got this last year, many years ago. And I feel like that's a testament to buying pieces even when they're on trend that you'll treasure in the long run, fit your style, and also work with your closet. So keep these in mind when you're out and about injecting new colors. I have a whole video dedicated to shopping with purpose and shopping with a tent that gives you a bit more tips. I'll make sure I link it. Now to our vibe check are what when it wears of wearing monochromatic colorful looks like i said before they are great in the spring and summer however they're still gonna pop in the fall and winter when everyone is in a pool of blacks and grays and toned down colors you're gonna stand out because you do what you want when you pop it who gonna check you I think adding color to your wardrobe overall is uplifting, it's a mood booster, and it just adds some excitement to your day. Now for jewel tones, I think these are great for evening cocktail attire and for red carpet looks, especially in gowns, they just give you that extra glam. And to our hows, what's the easiest way to get the look? Listen, sets are the way to go. Sets are your friend. <laughs> sets are your friend. They are very easy to wear and with separates you have that versatility of being able to wear separate looks. I do this all the time. Another route you can go are through coordinate matching suits, one piece numbers like jumpsuits and rompers, or a dress. Then you can add an accessory that's a different shade or tint to give a little bit of depth to your monochrome look. As far as finding matching sets on the more affordable end, I would recommend keeping an eye out on Amazon, Shein, H&M, ASOS, Misguided, pretty little thing. On the higher end, the designers that come to mind are Hanifa and Andre Iyama. If you guys happen to know of any other designers or boutiques that carry great sets with great color and you've had a great experience, please share those in the comments because remember, we're generous over here. Now, jumping to some monochromatic looks that I've done, I have to talk about this yellow look that I did in Houston. Now, this top, this top is actually a dress. I got it many, many years ago. I think I got it like 2015. Back then, Boohoo is what was popping. I remember that time period because PLT wasn't what it is now, so Boohoo was the spot. I remember getting this dress and it was so big, it was falling off my shoulders. Now it fits me to a T. But me and this dress have been through so many looks throughout the years and it's one of my favorite pieces. The chartreuse color is everything and I love the draping on it. So I decided to pair this with these yellow linen-like pants. These pants are actually from H&M and they had a matching top. This is what I mean when I say set to your friend because you can wear them separate. And for this look, I would say this is a dimensional monochrome look because the top is more of that silky jewel tone, whereas the bottom is more of a pastel, softer, earth tone yellow. I also wore this with my Jacu Jacu. Now, the Jacu's bag, I would consider a green cap, but sometimes colors can kind of push that boundary and still work. So even though the bag I consider is green, it works for this look. So yeah, so for me, that's another great warm weather look. This next look is all greens and I paired a deeper green satin top. I think this is from H&M with softer green faux leather pants at the bottom. I got those pants from ASOS, they were on sale. And I just paired it with my sage green teddy coat. I got that some years back from H&M. Again, that color was trending once upon a time. And I feel like this is just an easy look. I wore this look for high tea when I was in London visiting family. And the place that we had high tea, I'm pretty sure it's the same place that they shot what was it called? Let me see. 
It's the same place they shot Tinder Swindler, that series that was on Netflix. Yeah, random fact. <laughs> and when it comes to others on social media, there are a few people I absolutely have to mention. The first being Juliet Fox. If you haven't noticed already, she is all over the thumbnail. She's one of my main style inspirations. She can do no wrong when it comes to fashion in my eyes. And if she ever does wrong, I'm blind to it. If I were to have her closet, everything would be right in the world. <laughs> She's Cameroonian, so we're basically like cousins, yeah. Another person I have to mention is Leonie Hay. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but I've been following her for years. I think she's a model. Regardless, I love her look. I have to mention is Simi Moonlight. She's nothing but vibrancy, style, and an entire mood. She has so many looks back to back and she never misses. Some of the things she puts together, I wouldn't even think of doing. I feel like she's a great person to follow. Next up, I have Maxine Wall. She does color so well. And she does very simple to very complex look. But in all that, she makes fashion feel fun. And I love that from her. Now this next one, I could not talk about color in 2023 without talking about Tanika. She is not new to this. She is true to this. No if, ands, or buts. She stays true to styling color. I love it. Even when she does other pieces that aren't so colorful, she always has that pop somewhere in there. Now when it comes to celebrities, of course I'm thinking about Tracy Ellis Ross. That's a given. But this next one, now hear me out, Janelle Monet. We know her for her black and white looks and the beautiful sentimental story behind it. But whenever she steps out in color, it's a show-stopping moment. Do not sleep on Janelle when it comes to color because she knows what she's doing. And last up, you know I had to talk about that girl, Riri. Rihanna? Yes. <laughs> and yes, yeah, she's gonna be brought up in most of my videos for the fashion icon that she is. But let's rewind and go all the way back to the Super Bowl. Remember when I said color can be bold, it can be intense. That is exactly what Rihanna did. It kind of gave me anti-vibes from back in the day. But one thing about it, we know it's in poor taste to assume that a woman is pregnant. However, however, but, pero, when the show opened, her movements, her gestures, the way her outfit was positioned and laid, the entire time I said, I'm texting the group chat, like, is Rihanna? It, is she? And my friends are reminding me, it's uncool. You shouldn't be doing that. I know that. But the way she was moving, the way she was moving with care, the way her outfit sat open. And let's be very, very real. There's a lot of pressure, especially on women in the music industry. And we've heard of the different things that people do to prep for large performances. We've seen it with so many artists. So I'm thinking, especially with the time frame of when we knew that Rihanna would be performing at the Super Bowl, I feel like if she wasn't, they would have taken a different direction in her attire. That's just my personal thought. But later on, she confirmed it. What I love about it, I love a bump reveal, but I also love the subtlety of it. Like, I picked it up as soon as she dropped it. As soon as that camera was on, I said, hold on. Hold All the signs were there for me, for me personally. It was just great seeing her on stage again. I'm kind of okay if we don't get another album because I feel like the music industry is just a whole lot and very unforgiving to many artists. That's just my personal opinion. But I also feel like her path was spot on. She worked hard through her 20s. Now she's in her 30s, enjoying her empire, enjoying her family. She did what needed to be done. And I also want to mention how the red sleeping bag coat was a nod to the late Leon Talley when he did the UG campaign. I thought that was such a beautiful moment. But can we talk about how Fashion Nova and them had the exact same look ready and for sale within 24 hours? Child. <laughs> Child, I'm weak. I'm weak. But I'm just saying, if you identify with any of these looks, I've done the hard work for you. Of the people I mentioned, if you could see yourself wearing similar outfits, definitely look into following them on social media just so you can get that much more inspiration and styling ideas for adding color to your closet. And many of the people I mentioned, you'll be seeing much more of them in my styling videos because they have the range. They have it. <laughs> So that wraps up this video. If you don't have any color in your wardrobe, I would say now's the time to get you some as it's getting warm. We trying to be outside. <laughs> but also know you can wear color year round because who will stop you? Nobody. So take the time to think through colors, what makes you feel the most confident, what makes you feel happy, start there. So this is the very last Modern Chrome video. So we are cranking it up. I'm super excited for the next video. I don't think I'm gonna tell y'all. Maybe I will. I'm gonna keep it a secret. Now I'm gonna say it's gonna be color locking. Are you ready? Cause I'm ready. Not for the faint of heart. So get yourselves ready. Okay. 
So I can't wait. I'm gonna be real with y'all. You guys might get a home lifestyle video before that. It just depends on what I can get edited first. But like always, please continue liking and commenting. We are almost at that thou wow right now. We're at 988. So keep telling a friend to tell a friend, like telephone and subscribe if you haven't already. I will have more videos on the screen for you guys to check out. But until next time, bye guys.